Hiya. Thank you for joining today. Today I wanted to do a quick recap of a film which I watched a couple of weeks ago actually, but it's actually coming out now for release in the US, which is Borg McEnroe. Now, this is a very interesting documentary of the story of the rivalry between Bjorn Borg as he was approaching the defence of his Wimbledon title and going for his fifth consecutive Wimbledon victory and his rivalry with the new upcoming uh, brash young tennis star in John McEnroe. Now this film is an interesting one in terms of its marketing and I think it's it's clearly being played internationally in slightly different ways um, because this for me is very much a at its heart it's a Swedish film. This film is directed by uh, Janus Metz Pedersen and it stars, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, but it stars um, Sveria Gudnason and obviously Shia LaBeouf as John McEnroe. So Sveria plays the role of Bjorn Borg and we follow Bjorn through flashbacks into his childhood, we follow him in his uh, relationship with coaches and mentors, his relationship with girlfriends and how he has sort of approached his uh, his lifestyle, his tennis playing lifestyle. And it's really the sort of, uh, we're looking at the lead up of a build up of pressure on this individual. Someone who is recognized as the world number one, but has this chasing person right behind them who is, who is really pushing them. And uh, I think it's a, it, it's a very interesting study into how potentially these two characters have quite similar underlying traits, quite similar underlying um, backgrounds, and yet they've dealt with that in such wildly different ways. And perhaps each can see in the other the potential of how they could have harnessed that inner, um, let's say that inner anger in different ways. The film, as I said previously, is very much a Swedish film. A lot of the film takes place in Swedish with uh, subtitles. And the focus, if you were to sort of carve it up into the Borg McEnroe part of it, is very much quite heavily on the Borg dynamic. McEnroe, I would view as very much a supporting character large supporting role but much more of a supporting character than let's say look at this from the two characters um two character sides we do get depth to both characters but i would say a good 70 percent of the film is focused on borg it's quite telling that in sweden the film was simply released as borg not borg mackinara at all so it's something that i guess maybe got held back from the u.s market while they wanted to uh, to perhaps focus on marketing more of the McEnroe side and maybe appealing slightly more to, to US audiences. Having said that, I, I thought it was fascinating. The McEnroe aspect is fascinating. Shia LaBeouf is excellent in the film as he always is. I thought that uh, Sveria Goodnesson was also great in the film. I think it was a it was two very different performances. One very measured, as you'd expect from the the uh, the real life personas that they're they're representing. One very measured, very, very sort of intense, but um, reserved, restricted sort of performance with occasional flashes of of sort of breakout anger, etc. And the other one, you know, perfect for Charlotte, but very, uh, very much on the edge, very much um, a sort of a dangerous ticking time bomb type of, uh, um, a ticking time bomb of fury, you might call him. And I thought that was really, uh, really interesting as a dynamic. The film is, it's not overly long, but it's, it's quite methodically paced. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting watch, certainly. If, you, if I was to compare it to, to other films, the film that it made me think of, and um, by no means is it an equivalent to that film, but it made me think a little bit of Rush where you've got this similar sort of dynamic between the uh, very methodical, the very um, uh, structured in his approach of Nicky Lauda, and then you have the James Hunt approach, which is much more flamboyant and excessive and vocal, etc. And it was very similar. I think 
clearly to me uh, Rush is the better film Rush has the um, the better uh, focus it has the better balance between its characters but for all that it is Bob McEnroe would say is a thoroughly sort of interesting and entertaining watch so I gave Bob McEnroe a 7 out of 10 I think it's it's worth a look I don't think it's a film I'd watch in cinemas it wouldn't have got me out of the cinema and I caught this recently on streaming somewhere or other and uh, quite happy to have caught it there so very interested to hear what people have thought about this film if it's something you're looking forward to if the the relationship is really one that's um that's capturing people at the moment i've not heard much about this it kind of got released very quietly disappeared out of cinemas in the uk very quickly and is already available on streaming before it's even released in the us so um it'll be interesting to see how it how it fares i'm not sure it's going to do much of a dent at the box office anyway very interested to hear what people have to say about the film uh, if you've seen it please let me know what your thoughts are down below uh, feel free to like share and subscribe as always look forward to your comments it's fantastic to hear from uh, so many of you i look forward to talking to you again soon and as ever bye bye